Greetings, Entities and Guardians. My name is Hyper Himes, and welcome back to Cookie Run Oven Break. We're going to be doing more of the main story in this episode, because every single time that I log in, apparently, or at least every single day, it's telling me to use five story mode tickets, and I'm running low on the large surplus that I have of them, so I may as well use them, so I, just kiss, so I can just let them recharge, you know? So, last time that... Just for a quick summary, what happened is that we ran to a plant field, had a lot of plants, then we uh, ran into a uh, beet cookie, then carrot cookie, then spinach cookie, and then they sent us off on a train to go find, uh, specifically it was another cookie called sandwich cookie. And when we got on that train, uh, we got bombarded by a bunch of robber mice. Yeah, I'm not joking about that. You won't, if, you have to check out the next episode to like even understand what's going on. Ooh, that's like... That's interesting for, uh, the next couple episodes. Or by couple, I mean the next one, but, uh... Yeah, I'm pretty sure just for this, these next 10's gonna focus on sandwich, but I'm pretty sure 11 through 15 is going to, uh, be pretty interesting. But, we're gonna do level 3-6, and we gotta get 175 million points. Let me get the- wait, I got- I got something the main mission? Re- uh, reach weekly record. Oh, okay. Free crystals, thank you. Uh, we're just gonna- oh, it costs four. Well, okay, at the very least, we'd be spending, like, 20 on this if we fail. But, we're gonna try my- we're gonna- we're gonna try not to fail- Look at them! They stole it! Get back here, get back here, back here. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, free chest, by the way. Now we can get free money! Oh, there's gotta be good- oh. Yes, bubbled up money! Oh, that's gonna be worth it. Alright, collect jellies. Can I kill them? No, he 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 didn't care. All right, I got this. I got this. Okay, use some of my magnetism. Okay, these are just for jellies in total. Nice. Got that sweet magnetic effect going on. Nice. I can break these and also get those. I already use up all my uh, invocation card things. Break those. Stop running for me. What do you even need our loot for? What's a compass gonna do for you? You could have taken the veggies. I bet you if you would have taken the- How could they- Okay. How strong are these mice, now that I think about it? Because you know how strong you have to be to carry that? And especially run with it? We sure- we, we let a zombie carry that whole thing. Oh wow, that's money. We made a zombie cookie. Carry that whole thing the whole time that we were- Plub out of here. We made a zombie cookie carry that whole thing like the whole time. Strapped through their back. And you're carrying it overhead. And... I don't know what to think about you. I'm not sure what to think that you're kind of a champion for doing it that strong. And running with it as well. Or kind of a fool because just... Man. Y'all gotta be definitely way more, uh, lost in energy before us. Just get out of here. I got my arrow shots in. There we go. Dun, 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 dun. Boom! Free loot. Oh, by the way, we got our goal. Which we should be close to the, uh, oh, that's, that's the good. Okay, wing jellies, I gotta remember that. Okay, I think the, uh, level is ending up soon. Ending up. What? I don't know. Uh, okay, boom. Three coins. Gonna get these smaller jellies. No, you ain't. All it takes is this one little green thing. Have to itch my face. All it takes is this one little green thing for me to fade you out of existence. You should be scared. Oh, hey, come back here, come back here. I'm, I'm hot on your tail. I just hit my foot on a cardboard box, ow. But, look at that. Three stars, and we're already smooth sailing. 20,000 coins, that's... That's a solid way to make money, to be honest. Let's play this level. Let us move on to a cutscene, cool. What? There's nothing goofy about this gummies. The new keeps pointing at you, boss. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Looks like that gummies knows who it really belongs to already. Stop! Get back here! That's ours! We really, really need it back! Huh? Since when we use cookies this fast? Rough up, boys. We need to haul on out of here. Y yes, boss! You cookies! Stop taking this, you're gonna get crumbled! They're throwing knives! Duck and cover! They win that 
freight car? Is that what it is? A freight car? I think that's what it is. Hey, free uh, loot. And now I gotta do this thing. Uh, yeah, let's just jump into it. Straight in. The stars can talk. You just need patience. All right. <laughs> Let me just rat rat king. So it's a rat or a map? <gasps> Chonker! Whoa! It's a chunky. <laughs> Why does it make me laugh so hard? They're so big. Does this count as a boss battle? I really want to count this as a boss battle. Look at that spider in the corner, by the way. You know, in the top left. You can just kind of see it. It's fully blacked out and has red eyes. That's kind of terrifying. Spooky spider. Someone call, someone call a truffle cookie. Get one of the children out there. But right now, I'm running over this. You know what this kind of reminds me of, which is like... One of the most iconic things related to a train that I can remember. You ever play uh, GoldenEye 007 for the N64? There's a level that's straight up a train that you gotta go across, and man, that place was packed to the brim with crates. And not only that, but the crates could explode. I'm not joking, wooden crates would explode. They didn't have explosives, they were just boxes. Though, then again, in that same exact game, you could shoot at like a table, or, or like a chair. And it can explode. And like, not even like, you know, combust, like into like, you know, ash or something. It has like, you know, red, orange, yellow around those colors, plumbing explosion. We're talking about, you know, those explosions. Actually, wait, I need to test something. I'm going to save one of my waves because I want to test if I can actually use it in the midst of bonus time. Okay, we're getting the U. Now we're about to get ourselves an S. Okay, here we go. We're going to get the T, then the I. And then over there's got to be an M popping up a little bit, I'm pretty sure. I think. Yep, there's the M. One more hop. Two more hops. Three more hops. E. Oh, def I gotta definitely check this out. Oh, I can't use it! Okay, okay, so note to self, you can't use your, uh, I guess at least for this one, I guess. But you can't use the wave invocation cards, or maybe there's a chance that I can't even use any for uh, going into bonus time. Okay, well, that's an interesting note. So here he... Big Chonker coming at it again. Boop. Nope. Ah, uh, yep. Ah, uh, yep. You ain't gonna do nothing to me. You trying to be Donkey Kong chucking barrels at me? Buddy boy, that ain't gonna work for you. Sure, I guess I'm not top of here. Do we defeat him yet? <gasps> There's a big load of treasure. I missed one chest, but you know, it's fine. Oh, but I missed that pouch! I'm angry, I missed another pouch! Ah! Uh, well, at least I get a bunch of jellies in the end. F-I-N-I-S-H. Oh, I'm coming for you. Yeah, you see that? You see that skill? I think I was supposed to crush him. But you know what? I, I, <laughs> it still works, because I'm just gonna stop ahead of him and just get it anyway. It doesn't matter. But I, I, I literally have an ability where it just makes me invincible, I can just squa squash him, it's fine. Let's move on to another cutscene. Oh, it's nighttime at the train, I just realized. Oh wait, what does that say over there? Is that like a calendar to the right? I know that's like a broom or a shovel. I don't know. We've got them now! There's nowhere left for them to run! Give us back our compass. Hey! Hey! Well, what were you doing that thing? Says the thieves who threw knives at us. Telling me. You go, he's got heart. We used to rally. Give up already. There's so many of them? Where are they all coming from? Boys, throw them off the train. Get to it. This is just too dangerous. You can't do this. We'll do whatever we want. Get ready to be pulverized into tiny crumbs. You are thieves. And you made fun of vegetables. I, I won't forgive you. Take that! How, how, how's that cookie holding up the boss with just one arm? You, me too! They, they dropped the compass! <laughs> Found the compass! Now that the compass has been returned, I'm putting you down, okay? Please don't do anything brash. You've been warned. Do this ever again, and eat your vegetables. And by do this ever again, I mean don't do this ever again. Yes, me. 
Cover them, boy! They're gone. I'm glad that we got the compass back. Without this, we'd never get to paradise. Looking outside, we're approaching the city. We should head back to the passenger cars and rest up for a bit. But it's night, nice, spinach cookie. How are you able to see in the dark so well? It's all thanks to healthy diet of fresh vegetables. Is this game trying to teach me a moral eat vegetables? I'm like, oh, now I'm going open to the special breakout, which is Escape from the Oven as, as, as of right now. But I got to do level 38. Thanks for showing us around the market, spinach cookie. Oh, the city really is huge, isn't it? There's so many yummy looking jellies everywhere. I'm glad you had fun. I've also sold all of today's fresh festivals. Hungry? Again? Yummy? Yum. Oh goodness, that won't do. Here, I have some veggies left from the trip, but you should have them. <sighs> oh, no need. Eat anymore. Are you sure? Okay then, let's head over to Sandwich Cookie's shop and get some sandwiches then. Blast jellies will let you become invincible and blast through the map. I think we found that out already just a little bit ago from the future. Ooh, I like this level! You know what cookie I think is underrated, but I definitely need to do a video on for the trial? Sandwich cookie. I really like sandwich cookie. I don't know why, but I really just like sandwich cookie. And the only other time that I played with sandwich cookie is during uh, custom runs. And that's the only time I ever, like, used their ability. Oh, if only I had the magnet syndrome effect. Uh, but that's the only time where I used their ability. And basically, it's... How they do it is, uh... It's basically, you gotta time your positioning well... To, uh, making a correct sandwich. I'm not even joking. It's like, two ingredients will fall to the left and right. And then you gotta position yourself in the correct position to get those. Oh. Thought my magnetism would last longer, but it's fine. Gotta reach, uh, 120 million. I didn't read the scores for what I need to reach, but you know what? It's fine, because we're already at one star. And we're soon gonna approach two. Especially with these points that we're getting on right here. Boink. 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 I keep missing pouches, I'll admit. But hey, I can get them whenever I want. I can get them in custom runs. I can get them in the trials. I can get them in the breakout. I can get them in trophy race. I can get them here. I can get them in the cookie rumble. I can get them whenever I need to. So I should be okay. And did my ability just like last for a little bit or was I not paying attention? I don't know. Oh, I see this. You gotta land those perfectly just so you can get those. Oop. Okay, got those, and the magnetism worked. Okay, here we go. Nice. Here we go. And a jump. What did I collect? Oh, it's a bag. Okay. 300 out of 260. Oh, let me just use these up quickly. Three points. And there we go. That was kind of shorter, but I kind of like how kind of fast it was. But it wasn't like, you know, so fast paced. It was just kind of fun. I like that. Sandwich cookie. Probably one going to be one of my top 10 lists. I, I should do that. Top 10 cookie run cookies. Ooh, that might be a future video. Head on over to, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, we're at, okay. We only have to do two levels left. And also, if we do one of the levels, we're going to unlock, uh, I think that's got to be to special breakout two. All right. And I don't see a cutscene for this one. So we're just gonna do it normally. Do you know the name of that star? Which one? There's so many of them. There's a lot of stars, star fruit. Like, I don't know what you're trying to ask me, but like, uh, is that a trick question? Cause I don't think I have the answer to that, unfortunately. If I did, I'd probably tell you, but if I, if I didn't, I probably couldn't tell you, because I am not the smartest person. Not the brightest. Oh, that magnetism. That magnetism. Nice. Best. Oh, an extra magnetism for the skill. Oh, now take that. That's some extra points. Already, already nearing our goal. Very happy about that. Alright, then nothing else to do but to just get some more. You know what would be funny? If all of a sudden, while just playing this level, all of a sudden, all of a sudden, the cookie that I just start playing with in this level just stops and just visit, visits the sandwich shop in the background, picks up some food. I'd be like, you know what? 
That's very odd. But you know what? They deserve it. I do like, you know, these enemy designs, though. If I can describe them once they appear. So it's like a little fish just popping out of the sewers. It's like, ooh! And I'm pretty sure there was, like, some person hiding in the trash can. They were, like, little wet... It's, it, it look, stuff that looked like wet floor signs, but they were actually, like, a restaurant advertising for sandwich cookie. Those are actually pretty cute. I like the little small attention to details I have for, for this. Because they're just nice. Okay, now we need to collect coins. It's always good to have rent. Oh, that was kind of bad to do during that because, uh, I could have blocked some of the coins that I would have been seeing. Would have disrupted my vision. Why would you jump? Okay, the magnetism, very well. Oh, wait, we did it anyway. Okay, I'm sorry, game. You just scared me for a minute there with that jump. Oh, look at that! There's a chef fish! That's just adorable! Chef fish. The perfect cook. Of course. Do I have any points? Do I have any points? I don't like, okay, I got no points. We're fine. And we got our free stars once again, and we're about to head into the final level of this. Now, okay, now that I notice it now, I can guarantee now that since it says okay instead of, you know, okay in the next level, it's going to be a guaranteed cutscene. So at least I know that for a fact. And it's downloading anyway. <laughs> there we go. What does it say, M Club? What are you? I know, I, I know, lemon cookies there too. But like, what? I just need to take this all in. The sandwich in the background, healthy food. That's like a sub sandwich, a little sandwich stack. Like, I want to visit this place. I want this to be a real place. And that mascot over there, I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna cry. He's so adorable. I'm actually going to cry. Oh, let me like compose myself for a minute because I'm like fan going. I'm fan girling over a plumbing sandwich. Okay. <clears throat> The usual, please. I'd like a suggestion, please. I need something easy to carry around and eat in a hurry. I'm a busy detective, after all. So many guests. It's almost a full house. Behold! The freshest ever vegetable sandwich! Sandwich? Eat? Fuck. Nothing else. Only veggies. Ah. Uh -huh. Just one bite, and you won't even remember being afraid of to try it. I love that little expression on the sandwich mascot. I can't keep my eyes off him. Amazing! The bread, the veggies, the sauce. It's like tasting alchemical, uh, alchem uh, alchemical perfection in the form of a sandwich. Yummy, yum, veggies can be yummy. Yep, I knew it. Everyone loves their special veggie sandwich. I should propose opening a new branch, and I'll be in charge. <laughs> Spend a cookie, double your shipments. I still want first pick every morning. Congratulations, sandwich cookie. Of course, I'll always find and bring the freshest vegetables every day. Daily, same thing. Sandwich cookie. She's so cool. My shift is almost over, so wait here just a bit longer, okay? Oh, that was well worth waiting until, like, the end of the episode for. Uh, but now we can do the, quote-unquote, now do the, uh, second breakout, which is currently the Black Sugar Pirate Ship. But we're gonna do level 10, which is gonna be the last level for the episode, before we gotta recharge on some tickets. Forgot to read what the scoring would be for this level, but, uh, I will say, so far for all of these, we never had to do our, uh, second relay cookie. I guess, technically, I mean, our only relay cookie, being Sorbet Shark, but, I mean, hey, whatever works. Oh, why did I destroy those? I want to look at those, the little obstacles, because they were hanging from the ceilings. I think I barely saw them. There's cute little fish. Yeah, see, look at that. It's like a menu board. I usually see those outside in shops. We're just like, oh, oh it has a little sticker on it that says sale. Oh, honestly, this is def- I love this. This is so good. Oh, I missed some of those jellies. I'm getting too distracted. Ah, jump! Show me some more. Show me some more cool stuff. Show me more. That's a fish. That's the chef fish who's drinking tea because they're just so fancy like that. I want to see those ceiling things again because I'm pretty sure they were like menu things, I think, but- Kind of washed them away without even giving a second glance at looking at them. And maybe they'll appear again. And if they don't, it's always plugging next episode, hopefully. Alright. Okay, what am I collecting? Oh, wing jellies. Okay, that's a little bit more dangerous because I gotta be pretty accurate with getting them. Magnetism really can't help me this time. Okay, just gotta keep my focus. Okay. 
Whoa, that was a big leap. Oh my gosh. I looked away for like one second and I thought I missed so much, but I'm fine. Thank the Lord. Look at little burgers. Or sandwiches, or either or. B O N U. Is there more? Oh, come on. I saw something up there. It was like, oh, destroy him, please. I do want to see. Oh, okay. It's a sign that says food. Ow. With a little sandwich on top. That's so cute. T I M. Where's the E? Where's the E? That's a little, little garbage pail. With faces inside them. They just want food. Okay, now we're over here. Uh, we're getting speed. Down. Up. Up. Down. Down. Up. Up. Middle. I missed some coins there, because why not? Bonus, bonus. Everyone just got swerved by a tsunami. Okay, gotta remember the pattern of this. I jump over the gold, of course. Let me use up my points. Use up my points. Use up my points. Use up my points. The gold tried catching up to me. And it was like, no, come back. Don't want to be lonely. But it's fine. We got that. And we're officially done with this episode, unless it shows us another cutscene. I'm going to press OK just in case. Oh, it's got a downloading. Yep. Well, thanks for waiting. I, mm, I thought some of you might be hungry, so I brought a special sandwich with eight layers. Hold on. Can we just address the sprite, how sh Sandwich Cookie is holding a sandwich with lettuce? I think that's like a meat or like a patty, cheese, lettuce. Like, I think that's lettuce again, or that's pickles, like tomatoes, a fried egg, and then a bun on top. Please! The sandwich is almost as tall as me. Oh my lord, that's insane. It looks so tasty. Can we eat it all in one go? After the journey I had, I ate that sandwich in a heartbeat. Okay, croissant cookie is here, I guess. Croissant cookie! I missed you. And look who I brought along. It's Hero Cookie. It's been a while, hasn't it? Sorry, I've been stuck in the lab all this time. I've got a sandwiches with your names on them. I developed a new recipe that enhances the speed at which nutrients reach the brain. These two are our friends from school, and they're super duper into the computers, machines, and engineering. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, well, we're not here for sandwiches. We came to ask Sandwich Cookie about something. Oh, we were too busy eating that I totally forgot. Could you take a look at this compass? We want to know if it's, like, broken or something. Oh, this is perfect for them to figure out because they're smart. Of course we can. The three of us can handle any sort of gadget. Look, the compass is moving again. And this time it's pointing at... Croissant cookie? How does this compass work? Croissant cookie, do you, like, work with magic or something? Magic? Sorry, I don't know much about magic. I'm just your typical mechanic. We heard that this thing was made by the wizards to help cookies. This needle points towards the city of wizards. It doesn't move until the next point in our path comes near. By the way, did you notice that when the text was, like, longer than, like, three lines of text? It slowly scrolled down to catch up to it instead of, like, you know, kind of being cut off at the bottom and me scrolling up. That's a cool attention to detail. But it has been pointing to cookies, pumpkins, and even carrots. We just don't know how it works. Can we try opening it up? Taking a look inside might lead us to an answer. Yeah, of course. We really want to know how this thing works. See, I told you, it's always handy to carry around a toolbox. It's like being back in school again. This will be a cinch. Uh, it's not opening. Maybe if we try this? Nope, not that either. Is it welded shut? Wrong size spinner, maybe? Here, let me try mine. Hmm, nothing works. If this is really some sort of magical artifact, maybe cookies like us can't open it. Oh, well... That's okay. Thanks for trying. Maybe evidence of artifacts like this could be found in the ruins of that old kingdom nearby. Oh, where's that? The Shattered Kingdom lies on the outskirts of the city. It used to be a grand kingdom, but it's abandoned and long forgotten now. There are rumors that place is filled with undiscovered secrets. Then we should go there. It's a long journey there, so take these sandwiches. Thank you for the food along the way. Alright, so I can understand the next episode. We're going to be heading off to the clubbing stages 11 through 15. And we're also getting some free rewards because we just got ourselves a thousand crystals. Uh, we got five of those, uh, plus some breakout tickets, and also a free egg. Just for great pets. But now I think I ran this episode on long enough. But I'm very excited for the next episode. So, uh, whew. if you guys did enjoy this episode of the main story, then be sure to hit the bell icon. Well, 
Hold on, I, was, I just burped right there, I'm sorry. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and also share it with your friends if you enjoy my Cookie Run content, and if you enjoy my content in general, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel? And if you haven't yet, or you want to, then be sure to hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to receive all my notifications on this YouTube channel in the near future. And last but certainly not least, why not check out my merchandise in the description? I'm not forcing you to buy anything, but there might be something interesting in there that you might be interested in. But above all else, I will see you, Entities and Guardians, in the next video. Hail the Hypnese!